overview, we talked about the taping heads and the taping process in general terms. Let's take a closer look at the curvilinear taping head components. Then we'll see how these components work in the application process. Here's the tape drum. It holds a roll of tape and has repositionable latches and a threaded shaft that provides alignment adjustment for various tape widths. It also contains a friction brake to control tape supply roll over travel. The wrap roller positions the tape so it has more contact with the circumference of the one-way constant tension roller. The one-way constant tension roller puts a constant tension on the tape web, providing for positive cut of the tape without stretching it. The internal clutch in the one-way tension roller prevents the tape from backing up. The curvilinear applying mechanism provides low initial impact force while maintaining uniform buffing pressure during application. Tabs keep the tape in place on the applying roller and are especially useful on the lower head. The cutoff assembly contains the blade that cuts the tape. The spring-loaded knife guard covers the blade when the box is not present. It also contains a lubricated pad to keep the blade oiled. The applying mechanism spring, along with its adjustable J-hook holder, provides buffing pressure to the linked applying and buffing roller. The solid applying roller applies pressure to the tape as it initially adheres tape to the leading edge of the case. It contains an internal friction spring that prevents the roller from freewheeling after a case has passed. The buffing roller applies uniform pressure to the center seam and on the trailing end of the case, assuring complete adhesion during taping. The buffing roller is soft at the ends, which allows it to adjust and conform to underfilled boxes. The buffing brush provides additional pressure to the tape on the top and bottom seam of the case. And last, the track provides a path for the curvilinear applying mechanism. Now we'll discuss the curvilinear taping process. We'll examine a bottom mounted head it operates similarly to a top-mounted head. A case is conveyed to the taping head and contacts the tape on the applying roller. Then the following three things occur simultaneously. The tape is adhered to the leading edge of the case. As the case motion continues, the applying mechanism travels forward and down in a curvilinear motion, and the linked buffing assembly retracts. As the case continues to move past the taping head, the following things happen. The applying roller continues to adhere tape to the case. The tape starts to pull from the supply roll and the cutoff bracket goes down as the case contacts it. The case pivots the blade guard down and passes over the blade. This exposes the blade, readying it for cutting the tape. The conformable buffing roller and the buffing brush seal the center seam. The trailing edge of the case clears the cutoff bracket which snaps up allowing the blade to cut the tape. The supply end of the tape drapes over the applying roller. The buffing roller is positioned at the trailing edge of the case to support the cut end of the tape. At this time, the trailing edge of the case moves past the buffing roller, and the buffing roller extends and pivots following the contour and adhering the tape to the trailing edge of the case. The applying mechanism begins to return, and the blade guard returns to cover the blade. Then the case clears the buffing roller. The applying and buffing roller are returned to their initial position, and the tape pulls back through the applying mechanism to the rest position.